Hey everybody, Patton here. So back on the 18th of April, Sega announced the next 10 games for their Sega Genesis Mini. But before we talk about that, let's revisit the first 10 games that were announced already. You got the Dolphin game. The Castlevania people forget about. Third person space shooter you played in the arcade. The one everybody confuses with Fantasy Star. Puzzle game, who cares? The one with the aliens. Best game on the system. The game that wants you to go fast but also doesn't let you go fast. The one everybody's played with their friend that had the Sega Genesis. And the game that wishes it was Contra. So the initial 10 games were solid. They were enough to get everybody excited for the other remaining 30 games. What really impressed me was how Sega revealed the next 10 games for the Japanese Mega Drive Mini. They had a live stream on YouTube with the Famitsu channel. Now Sega hasn't had that many slogans over the years. You have the Sega Yell Sega! and the ever popular Sega Does What Nintendo Don't. Except in this case because Nintendo put out the minis first. But after watching that live stream, they really should think about changing their slogan to Sega. Doing it right. I can't think of a better way than revealing the games on these systems than interacting with the fans. And a live stream is a perfect way of doing this. So real quick, the games that the Japanese Mega Drive are going to get that we won't get over here in the States and the European countries. Hybrid Front, which appears to be a strategy game similar to something like Advance Wars. Aleste, which is the shooter Musha that came out here over in the States and Europe. Dino Brothers 2, which was a Sega Channel exclusive. It seems pretty in-depth, kind of like a Sims game. Then they have this pack of games from the Sega Channel, which I thought was really awesome since they didn't really release these anywhere else. The pack comes with 12 games. You have 16 Ton, Flicky, Putter Golf, Hyper Marbles, Metal City, Paddle Fighter, Penguin Land, Pyramid Magic, Robot Battler, Teddy Boy Blues, Hero in the Sky, and Labyrinth of Death. So the Mega Drive Mini in Japan actually gets 12 games for one game slot. Technically, you could say they have 31 games announced already. But anyway, let's talk about the 10 games that were revealed for the Mega Drive in Europe and the Genesis here in the States. You have Castle of Illusion with Mickey Mouse. side-scrolling Disney game where you play as Mickey, you're trying to rescue Minnie, by going through various doors leading to different areas. And in these areas you take care of the enemies by throwing apples or similar objects at them. Then you have the sequel World of Illusion. This time Donald, Mickey's best friend, joins him on the adventure. This looks like a really fun co-op style game where you actually have to work together to get through different stages. Thunder Force 3. Really nice arcade shooter. I used to play this all the time in the mini arcade in the bowling alley where I used to live. Just like other shooters, lots of power-ups, different options, and really sharp graphics. Super Fantasy Zone. Another shooter, but in a very different style. More of a cutesy style where you play as an egg with wings. All the enemies are really weird. Very similar to the old arcade game Defender. You want to take out the enemy pods, collect money, go to that shop. Get some power up so you can take on the other weird bosses. Shinobi 3. What else can be said about Shinobi 3? It's a side scroller where you play as a sweet ninja who likes to throw ninja stars and use his ninja sword to take out enemies. Sometimes you get ninja magic. I used to play this at my friend's house all the time. He'd use a cheat code to skip stages. We don't talk anymore.
Streets of Rage 2. Very well known beat em up on the Sega consoles that rivals the Final Fight series. A really diverse cast of characters and a great soundtrack. Speaking of the soundtrack, the same composer for Streets of Rage 2 is doing the menu music for the Sega Genesis Mini. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is an awesome side scroller filled with humor tons of weapons, hilarious enemies, a really nice soundtrack, and then you have Jim, one of the coolest characters ever. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Well, it's another Sonic game, but this one introduced Tails, Miles Prower. Coolest thing about this game is that name. Had a really fun two player mode and actually this was the first Sonic game I ever played. Contra Hardcores. Quite possibly the best Contra game. Lots of stuff blowing up, lots of action all over the place. Look at these characters, they're so Odd. You can play as a wolf or a little robot if you want. Bad things are happening in the future. Too many things are blowing up. Landstalker. Probably one of the lesser known games on the system. Landstalker is an isometric view action game with a few puzzles and some enemies. Probably the coolest thing about Landstalker is the spiritual prequel to Dark Savior on the Sega Saturn. If you haven't played Dark Savior, go play it. So my thoughts on the second 10 games. Once again, Sega's coming in strong. Each one of these games is really solid. I especially like that they included Super Fantasy Zone. We actually haven't had that released here over in the state, so I'm glad they include that. I love it when companies will release games that haven't been done before, kind of like what Nintendo did on the Super Nintendo Classic with Star Fox 2. Definitely gives customers more incentive to get that product. I'm a tiny bit concerned though, because now we have two Sonic games on the system and two Disney Mickey Mouse games. I understand having a Sonic game on the system considering he was the biggest mascot of all time for the whole company, but I definitely don't want the list to get bogged down like the Ad Game Systems did with three or four games of the same series. Some games I think Sega will still announce in the future are something maybe from the Vector Man series. There will probably be a Fantasy Star on here, maybe another side scroller like Dynamite Hetty or Rice Star. I'm sure we'll see something from the Golden Axe series. I remember Kid Chameleon being pretty big back then. Beyond Oasis was an awesome game as well. I would love to see that on the mini. My top pick for what I want on the Genesis Mini, Cyborg Justice. Something about tearing robots in half and stealing their limbs just really appeals to me. So there you go, the second 10 games announced for the Sega Genesis Mini. So what are your thoughts on the next 10 games? Do you think these were good picks? What else do you think Sega's gonna put on their system? Make sure you guys keep coming back. I'm going to have more information on the system as it is revealed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.